Thanks for coming back. This article comes from the San Antonio Express News and reads title City of Uvalde to pay two million to settle claims over Rob Elementary mass shooting. Finally. Great. This is two million. A not a big enough dollar amount. The article will explain why that is. So it reads, the city of Uvalde will pay $2 million to settle claims by 19 families of victims killed or injured in the Robb Elementary School shooting. Their claims largely focus on the Uvalde Police Department's role in the disastrous law enforcement response to the May 24th, 2022 massacre that left 19 fourth graders and two teachers dead. Quote, for two long years, we have languished in pain and without any accountability from the law enforcement agencies and officers who allowed our families to be destroyed that day, end quote, says Veronica, whose daughter Jayla and nephew Jace were killed. Oh, man, I didn't know that she lost two. This settlement reflects a first good faith effort by the city of Uvalde to begin rebuilding trust in the systems that fail to protect us, end quote. I could not, the response that the police had to children being attacked by gunmen in their school was beyond pathetic, angering. I just don't understand what human being that is meant to protect others around them. That is their role, their occupation, their job, hopefully maybe a passion. For them to be put in a situation where today's the day and children's lives are at stake, they just hung out outside the room and outside the building? The entire police department should be gutted because if not one of them said, what the fuck are we doing? We're going. Like, come on. It says 25 Uvalde police officers and 16 Uvalde sheriff's deputies converged on Robb Elementary the day of the shooting, according to a Texas House report on the incident. In all, more than 360 officers from 23 local, state, and federal agencies were on hand, yet 77 minutes. 77 minutes elapsed before a tactical border patrol team confronted and killed the 18-year-old gunman who was armed with an assault-style rifle. The reason uh, why it's $2 million is because that's the most that their insurers will pay out um, to settle claims. And there's actually another $2 million uh, lawsuit um, that's in the works right now. So they're promising to change standards for the police department, uh, but it's going to be hard for the people in that area to ever really recover from this. And I'm pretty sure some people's trust in the police are extremely shaken. And I feel bad because I know that there are probably plenty of other police officers across the country that would have flown into that building. And quite frankly, I don't care what any of their reasoning is. They should all be ashamed of themselves. This money does not bring their children back those two teachers back. It's just money. These people would probably turn down billions of dollars if they could just get their child back. So to all of the police out there that do their job legit every day, and you know they're just trying to make it home safe, but make sure that other people do as well, all the respect in the world. To these motherfuckers, fuck every last one of them because children died that day, that day that they needed the police. Oh, this is frustrating. There's some merch. There's some other channels. I don't, <laughs> it just makes me so angry, this story, but I felt like it was one I wanted to make a video on, so I did, but, uh, but yeah, give it a like if you uh, want me to kind of keep up with stories like this and uh, read them out and kind of talk about them. But, uh, but yeah, pick up some merch, check out the other channels like I just had on there, but I appreciate you uh, watching and I'll catch you next time.